packet. So I would uh, like to ask uh, some questions in context of Indian students actually. Uh, just wanted to know as you have been counseling so many Indian students uh, since last few years. What is lacking in Indian uh, education system or what is your view on Indian education system? Well, there's so many systems of education here. So we work with students uh, coming from the Indian education system as well as students who are in an American school. Uh, so we have students in the AP program, IBs, and Indian system. I think what's tough in the Indian system if you're coming to the US is you have exams at the end of 10th grade, right? At the end of sophomore year. So a lot of your time is spent studying for those exams and not necessarily working on research or that makers project you know that we talked about so you might have less time to show off certain things that being said u.s col colleges will understand the rigor of the high school so every high school has something called a high school profile and that profile goes to the u.s college so they'll know if it's a strong Indian school or a weaker Indian school. They'll know if you know what the school offers. And I think the most important thing for students to think about is how have they maximized the curriculum that they're in. It's not that one is right and one is wrong. It's what have you done with what's been offered to you and how have you gone above and beyond that. So an example I give, if, if a student let's say is in an Indian school, maybe they can be making their curriculum more rigorous by taking online college courses or even auditing those courses or taking a few AP exams even though they might not be offered at the school. Okay. So while applying for uh, IPY admissions, what, what are the common challenges Indian students are facing? Well, the biggest challenge Indian students are facing is the competition. There's just such a large pool of in so students. The, the competition with who? With, with Indian students. With Indian students. Yeah. So, so, and here's the other thing. You also have Indian American students right. living in the US. And so a college can't have a whole campus of Indian students. So there's a problem of the demographic because Every college and university is trying to be as diverse as possible. So there's only a certain number of, of beds, right? A certain number of spots, and they can't have everybody. And, and, and it's true that there are many qualified students who don't get in. I remember when I worked at Yale, we would say we could make two perfectly great freshman classes from the deny pile. So it's not a question of their, them being qualified. It's a question of the class they're putting together that year, what they're looking for, who they're looking for, and how they come off. Um, but what I was saying earlier, if, if you can find something that shows that maybe you think outside the box. Um, I was working with an Indian student who came up with a very brilliant idea with a, when she was only 15 with a rape whistle, which which uh, for, for, for other, uh, for young women in India, which when sounded, sounded like a car alarm. I mean, it was the loudest whistle you've ever heard of. And she raised the money for it, and she, saw, she was helping to solve a problem in India. Now that's a girl who's gonna stand out in the pool.